surrendering to what is, acceptance of what is, and the recognition that your flaws, as well as everything that you like about yourself, these are exactly designed to be this way. This is God's will. This is God's expression. You are that. And what happens is as you drop your resistance, as the shift happens, as you surrender to this new way of understanding and thinking, is you begin to accept yourself the way you are and begin to love yourself as you are. And this is something that majority of people on the planet are struggling on daily basis. We don't accept ourselves and we don't love ourselves. That's number one that we're really struggling with across, across the planet. So this self-hate, hatred and lack of self-love rules us all of our lives. And all of our lives we're striving to change ourselves to something else. Sometimes we can, but a lot of times we can't. And through that, there's a lot of hate and anger and frustration follows through. And then you end up living a whole life. And then at the end, we die. And we never accomplished one simple thing. To love and accept ourselves. Fully. The way we are. In this moment. Look at yourself. And look at your mind. And pay attention to yourself. Look at your way of you think. If you really want to get to the bottom of everything. You have to do self-observation. You have to listen and pay attention to your thinking pattern and see how your thinking pattern, how destructive it is and what it does to you on a daily basis. That is haunting you. That you're a slave and being haunted. And one day you may decide that you want to break through this jail and no longer be a slave. And I'll be waiting for you here. To help you become free. But you have to make that decision. And for that you have to pay a price. You're going to have to let go of everything you know. Because everything, all this stuff that you know is not doing anything for you. It's keeping you in the bondage. It's keeping you in slavery. That's why you suffer. If you suffer, then know that you're stuck. You're hanging on to ideas. And an illusion which is not real. I like to share a quote for uh, with you from a very one of the very very first spiritual books I have ever read. And this is a long long time ago, when I first was invited and I brought on this path. My old friend, my brother Ernie who happened to be my spiritual teacher for, the, for a long time. This is back in the day, long time ago. Gave me this book from Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, a.k.a. Osho. I think the title of the book was The Way of the Heart or The Path of the Heart. I don't quite remember the title of the book. But I do remember this. And this is in my early days. And I'm a baby. And I don't know very much about any of these things. So everything's very new. And I'm very excited. 
and I'm like a lot of you playing with crystals and tarot cards and seeing psychics or channelers and poking my nose into different kind of uh, teachings and checking out Buddhism and Hinduism and Sufism and all these different things. I'm just trying to figure out what's what. I'm doing a little bit of this, doing a little bit of that, blah, 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 blah. And I open this book and I look at the first page. I open it up. And in the first page it says, I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. And in that very moment, I experienced that if somebody punched me right on my third eye, like boom, and I didn't even know what third eye was. And I remember I was standing, behind me was my bed, I was in my bedroom, and I was standing with my back towards my bedroom. And I opened this book, I read this sentence on the first page, and I get hit in my third eye, poof, and I just fell down. I fell down backwards in the bed. And I was gone. I don't know how long it took. I went into this deep state of samadhi or coma. I can't even explain it. But I felt like somebody punched me right in my third eye. And I was gone. I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. And that was written by Osho. What do you mean, I am all there is beautiful and I am all there is ugly? It took me another God knows how many years being on this path to recognize that 30 years after. Now I realize that, that I am all there is beautiful and I am all there is ugly. They're all within myself. I have my light and I have my dark. As I am sitting here with you in this moment. Because I am one with everything. Coming to oneness, to self-realization, to God-realization means you are the expression of the Absolute. God expresses itself in this dimension and every moment. And God may come as a terrorist, as a rapist, may come as Mother Teresa, as a saint, as a great healer, may come as Adolf Hitler, killing six billion people, or more, or may come as Dalai Lama. He will come as different characters simultaneously. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's all God. There is no separation. So as you let go of your spiritual ideas and conditioning, and you start to see that you are that, 